Hello there! In this video we'll be making tiny little hats for our dolls and we'll be needing the following materials. Poster board or cardstock, felt, or hot glue gun, and we may need a pencil and some scrap paper. So to start off, I love hats. Here's just a small section of my hat collection. They're super cool and for our dolls today we're going to make a miniature version of our flat cap. So the first thing we're going to do is create a paper visor to use as the foundation for our hat. So we're going to take a piece of poster board, cut a thin strip, and we're going to measure it around the dial's head. Now we can't measure too tightly. We're going to leave a, a, a little space in there. It can't be directly the size of the dial's head. It has to be a little larger. And I'm just going to put a little fold on there to indicate where uh, to close up our circle. I'm going to trim our strip of poster board and apply glue and create a little headband. Now I'm going to take another piece of poster board and create a visor. I'm going to curl that with our fingers, get it to curve, and then we're going to um, hot glue the visor to the headband. This is going to be the foundation of our hat. Looks a little like this. So we're going to cover our visor with felt. And I'm going to cut out a piece of felt that's in this shape right here. I call it a light bulb shape. And the circle part of the light bulb has to be large enough to cover the brim of our visor. And this is where you may have to use a little paper to sketch out some patterns to see if it's the right size. So I have my light bulb cut out. And I'm going to keep the, the negative that we uh, cut out. We're going to keep that because we're going to need that. To finish our cap. So back to our light bulb I'm going to cut down the center of the small part and then I'm going to glue with hot glue the two open parts together to create a little seam. Always be careful with hot glue of course. And this seam that we created is what causes our hat to lift in the back. So we're going to apply the felt to our visor. Start off in the back. Very carefully of course. And then the large circle part we're going to attach to the brim of our visor. So our hat is coming along. You can see the shape taking form. And that's where we're going to use the little negative cutout of the felt when we first cut out the uh, light bulb. <laughs> And those little curved pieces we're going to use to cover up the open spots of our cap. So we're going to lightly apply hot glue, not too much. If you use too much, it'll soak through the felt and create a little ugly glue spot on our hat. So uh, apply lightly, just enough glue so it could hold and press it just softly enough so that it attaches. We're going to trim the excess off of the bottom and then it'll also be a little extra on the back part too. Cut all of that off. And then we'll fold down the extra pieces of felt to our visor. Again, only use a small amount of glue because you don't want it to soak through. So you do that again on the other side. And the final touches is a strip of felt to cover the inside of the hat. And one final piece to cover 
the inside of the brim of our hat. And our hat is complete. You might have to trim a little bit across those ends. Sometimes it's a little extra glue or the felt gets raggedy. But our hat is complete. It's all done. And I think it looks really, really cool. I think he is styling. <laughs> and here are some small hats that I made. And I'm comparing them to actual hats from my collection. Isn't that cool? And this is my favorite hat, my fuzzy old school Kango. <laughs> and I made a small one for our doll. I love how that turned out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, please, please go to my Facebook page, Red Carpet Dolls by Tony Nicole. Post pictures, leave comments. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you guys have got going on. Thanks again. And remember our motto, it's more fun to make it.